Yes, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. What's going on? This is Abdul Malik Claire. I hope and trust and believe that uh, that's optimistic, isn't it? Wow. I hope and trust and believe that y'all are well. I am right now in New Jersey, in a place called Paramus, New Jersey. I don't know. That's probably closer to Newark, but I ain't sure. Anyway, we got an event tonight at Rutgers University, and I just wanted to really kind of give you all a little bit of what goes through my head before an event. Um, you know, it's cool that, that speakers, excuse me, nine unread emails. emails. Alright, let me make you quiet because you're not going to interrupt me again. This is the message and speech off. There. It doesn't get to interrupt me again. What goes through my head as a speaker? You know, the, the whole idea of being a speaker is to some people anyway, get into travel to cool places and fly all over the world and, and meet cool people and, and that definitely does happen but for me <clears throat> personally uh, a huge amount of anxiety happens before an event like this I'm going to be at Rutgers University and I know growing up the way I did that I probably wouldn't have been able to get into that university that would be a university that I wouldn't have gotten into Unless I did like a, a wrestling scholarship or something of that nature, I wouldn't have got in for my brains. You know what I mean? That would not have been <laughs> been something that would would have been open to me as a kid. Um, I keep remembering these sighted teachers that tell that told me anyway that I didn't belong in their classes because blind kids didn't belong in sighted schools. I would remember all these different stuff and all the different things that they had said over the years, and then that adds to a lot of anxiety you know you just feel weird because you know that really honestly i'm not no scholar i'm not and uh, sheikh scholar all those weird little titles that y'all put on us i have nothing to do with any of that and i and i need it to be known and i'm not doing this or saying this to be humble i'm not i i'm saying it because in front of allah i need to be honest with you and it would it would be obnoxious of me to assume that I'm some kind of special scholarly person when I know, and more importantly, Allah knows that I'm not that. I'm motivational. I have, you know, alhamdulillah, I have a gift with words and whatnot, and Allah knows best. But just because someone stands up on stage or stands up on a member doesn't make them a scholar. And I wanted to really mention this to you guys because overpraise is a problem. You know? Yeah, I have this anxiety, and I know that. But I also know that Allah Ta'ala wanted me to be there for some reason. So that's why I'm there. So anxiety and, and, and this idea of, of just remembering who you are, it can be helpful because it, it keeps you honest. But it can also be harmful because it can actually hurt your progress. And I wanted to tell the brothers who are ancestors now, who are starting out as speakers, you know, remember who you are, remember where you came from, but don't let it, don't let it hinder your progress. And don't let the overpraise get to you because some of y'all really like to do that, and it's really it's really bad. Um, I've had YouTube comments from people that say the only way they're gonna listen to the Quran is if I'm reciting it. Do you know how hard that is to deal with? The Quran is the speech of Allah, and you need to be listening to it, and so do I. Whoever's reciting it, as long as they're doing it properly and not messing it up and making a mockery of it, you need to be listening to them. Now, when you guys put that on us, it makes me personally, it gives me a lot of anxiety because I feel like when I'm speaking, the world is right here. The world is right above my head. And if I mess up, poof, the world is going to fall down and crush my head. That's how I feel when I'm up on stage. And your overpraise of us adds to that. So please stop it. If you see a speaker that you like, you know, give them a high five or, or you know, the sisters, shake the sister hands if you're a sister, whatever. But don't get into this whole thing of overpraising us. We're not special. We're really not special. Not really. We have issues like you. We have family problems like you. We have bad habits just like you. We have issues with our iman just like you. We have issues with our ibadah just like you. The only thing is we have a busier schedule than you. And we're supposed to stand up on stage and act like everything is all right for you. And it's not always the case. So please, you know, stop the overpraising and stop doing that. Just, you know, make dua for us, pray for us. Support what we're doing if you can, and, and just pray that Allah you know, protects us from these things because we have a lot of issues just like you. Now, some of us are, are you know, people that insist on being, on being bad because we are people. Some of us are bad. Some of us are good. 
some of us are, are, are good and, and we do bad things and make mistakes, but we're still good. Some of us are, are bad and we do good things. <laughs> so we're just people just like y'all, you know, may Allah purify us <sighs> and protect us because I'm here now in a hotel in Paramus, New Jersey, about to get ready to go to an event and I'm going to try my best to put all my personal stuff aside, all my family stuff aside, all my other issues aside, and I don't really have a whole lot, but I do have some, alhamdulillah, all my other stuff is going to be aside, because I need to be on stage, and I need to rock the mic, and I need to do what I need to do, um, for the sake of Allah, and you know, may Allah accept it from us, and, and, and you guys, all y'all, uh, come out if, well, I don't think you'll be catching this, but if you are in New Jersey, you want to upload this to YouTube, <laughs> you, it's 3.30, that means you have about a half an hour before I leave the hotel, come out and hang out with us if not i'm gonna try to to uh film the, the lecture anyway and then you guys can see it hopefully another time if not later on tonight so just just try not to overpraise us so much just make dua for us pray for us and support islambytouch.com and that's what i'm dealing with right now try to help us that way and and know that we're just people you know we have anxiety just like you and if and honestly if you don't get nervous by doing this, you really should not be doing it. It should be something that you do. You should be doing something else. If getting on the membar doesn't make you nervous, if getting on stage in front of people doesn't get you nervous, then overconfidence is another problem. Some of us really get into that too. We believe the people what they say about us. And you're a scholar, you're this, you're that. And the four. I've, I've had people call me Sheikh al-Islam, which is obnoxious. You know, try not to, <laughs> try not to get caught up in all of that. Because overpraise is a problem. And we need to not have to deal with that so a uh, bit of a rant wanted to upload something for y'all jazakumullah khairan www.islambytouch.com make dua for your favorite speakers and for those ones who are not your favorites make dua for them too thalika ma'indi wa sallallahu ala sayyidah muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam tasliman kathira assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh how do you stop this voice over on photo booth Text. Stop video. Button. There we go. 